Starters then in this final. The Australians in lanes three and five. Must have their toes underneath the waterline in the start. What they're trying to do, it's a diving term, actually trying to rip the entry, which means that their arms and their feet go through the one hole. And you almost hear a rip, and there won't be a lot of splash. If there's a lot of splash, then they haven't done that effectively. And we see a lot of shots of the photos of these swimmers, where the hands and the feet, and it's a beautiful arch. And that's what they're trying to achieve with their start, so they can get as much momentum underneath the water as is possible. And they must come up at the 15 metre mark or before. In lane one, Bartosz Kizarowski from Poland. Qualified in a 55.34. In lane two, the holder of three world Neil Walker from the USA. Neil Walker is a 100 freestyle specialist. A member of the silver medal 4x100 freestyle relay team on the first night and qualified in a 55.20. Josh Watson. Lane three. Third of the Pan Packs in 99, second of the Commonwealth in 98, and qualified in 54.93. And here's the man they must overthrow, Lenny Kreiselberg, the American, born in Odessa, Ukraine. He's very popular here in Australia. He really warmed the crowd in 99 for the Pan Pacific Games. Representing Australia, Matt Welsh. Matt Welsh. Coached by Ian Pope, qualified in 54.52, a personal best of 54.14. Can he break 54 seconds tonight? Stev Haloki in lane six, the German. 54.95. Ethan Verbank in seven. Personal best this morning, uh, last night for him in a 55.31. Bryson. Out in lane eight, the 18 year old from Dusseldorf. So, Australia, two representatives. Watson in three, Welsh in five. We don't see one of the backstrokers in a full suit. They've opted for the knee length or the full length from the hip. And you'll probably see Lenny Kraselberg get to the blocks last here to keep his competitors hanging, which tires out their arms a little bit. Yes, he has. He's the last, and he's fully capped up tonight. He hasn't swum the last two races without a cap. No surprise there. On the wall. Crowd making a lot of noise. Take your mark. Except now, Kraselberg uncoils off the wall that was a classical start the world record holder the world champion going in lane four welsh got a great start alongside him so crazelberg flanked by the australians and welsh is going out solidly crazelberg working through the middle watson just a stroke off the pace welsh is going to go after crazelberg here this is the way you need to swim at these olympic games give yourself a chance to beat, the, beat this world record holder so the challenge is on crazelberg around first 25 9 9 welsh in second place 26 0 8 nothing splitting the pair they've separated from the pack back behind them watson is trying to go with them crazelberg by a stroke welsh is taking it to him crazelberg from welsh first and second crazelberg he's got about 15 minutes to swim welsh is trying hard watson is coming Coming on, could grab the bronze. Kraselberg in front, he's going to win. Welsh will get second. Watson is fourth. Third place to Thaloki, the German. And my friends alongside the German commentators delighted. We're not so happy. That is a new Olympic record for Lenny Kraselberg. What a sensational swim by Matt Welsh. He gave himself every opportunity to get up there. Just lost it a bit in those last few metres. Got a sensational start and turn. And getting second to such a great champion like Kraselberg, that is sensational. And who would have thought that Matt Welsh, a few years ago, would have been an Olympic silver medalist? I'm sure he didn't. And he'll be happy as anything. Olympic record. 
Lenny Kreiselberg, a 24-year-old. But he had plenty on his plate tonight. Lenny Kreiselberg was a little bit slow to get on the wall in those last two strokes. You see just a little flick with the butterfly legs there. And Watson, very stiff as well. Just beaten on the full stroke by Theoloki. Gold to Lenny Kreiselberg. Josh Watson just outside his personal best. Uh, Josh had a personal best of 54.82. Winner's time there, 53.72. His world record, 53.6. Welsh, 54.07. For Loki in third place. Well, Josh has to be happy with his swim. He didn't do a personal best, but he gave it everything he had. Just outside the medals. Fourth in an Olympic final is something to be very proud of. The crowd are very familiar with Lenny Kreiselberg. He won here at the Pan Pax in 99. Endeared himself to the Australian crowd. He really worked the crowd last year. He knew he was going to come back here and he knew he needed to be accepted if he was going to perform. He's a great champion. Underscoring that again tonight. Semi-finals coming up now. At the women's 200 IM. Ellie Overton, as we go down to the pool deck, Ellie in the next race. Come in with a uh, silver medal. Just making the final was awesome, so coming away with seconds, great. Um, you've got a great story. You haven't been in the sport that long. Could you have imagined four years ago that you would be standing on a medal dais? No, not at all. Um, coming home the last 25, I just thought, I'm fighting this one out. I'm not letting this one go. I thought, I've come too far to let this go now. And I did my best, but uh, yeah, it, it's a dream come true, absolutely. But you always want more. What does this mean for the 200? Uh, I'll be pushing it even further, but yeah, I'll give it a shot. Congratulations. Thanks a lot.